longtime professor here at Concordia Seminary in St. Louis, Martin Franzman, um, wrote an essay, a series of theses on what he called Reformation hermeneutics, principles of interpretation. And they really sort of boil down to three ways um, in which God has made himself known. From broad to narrow, um, the broadest is through the word, the scripture. Um, Christians believe that um, we have two testaments, one Bible, and that uh, God makes known his character. What kind of God is he? Uh, one of my favorite places, portions of scripture is Isaiah 40 through 48, um, in which God, in a sense, puts himself in the dock, sort of in a courtroom setting, and puts himself on trial, as it were, and uh, sort of systematically, in, in some respect, um, dispels uh, any notion that there is another God. And he's, you know, there he, through the prophet, is speaking to his Judahite people um, and, and trying to get them to remember um, this is the God who has acted in our behalf and we can count on him to act in the future. So from scripture, I move to the gospel. The, the gospel as a message, uh, the word about Christ, the word of Christ, uh, what it entails, uh, why we need a gospel in terms of our alienation from God because of sin and how God has provided the remedy for that. And then the, the central, the central way in which God has made himself known, and, and this is sort of in a sort of a historical sense as well, is in the person of Jesus Christ. God in the flesh. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Going back to the, the center, existentially, I think that we actually begin with Jesus. It's, a, it's hard in some respects to distinguish Jesus from the gospel um, because he is the, the enactor you know, of the gospel and the object of faith. Um, but from there, you know, when, you know, when we have learned who God is by the one who has uniquely made him known, then the, the other elements of what constitute or what, what describe the gospel, and then finally the scripture, the character of God is, we, we, we find out what is the, you know, the sort of the, the right side of God, the way in which he wants to be known, even in the Old Testament find out what, how God wants to be known by his Old Testament people by viewing him through the lens that is Jesus Christ. And so that, that's, that's crucial. Um, we, uh, as Christians, that's what we cling to, is knowing that when we, we know uh, Christ as Savior, because we know Christ as Savior, now we know the only one is God and declares himself so.